Hey y'all, this is Jen with Sassy Southern NC Girl, and I am doing a get ready with me with Miss Stephanie from NC Mountain Mama. So stay tuned, because this is my before, and I'm going to go start getting ready. Okay y'all, so Stephanie came up with this idea for this collaboration between her and I. To do a uh, get ready with me where you are getting ready to go out and do something with your girlfriends, just hang out, have a shopping day, lunch, brunch, <laughs> coffee. Um, so I'm going to start off with my skincare routine that I do before. Um, and so I wash my face with um, pharmacy products. This is the Dr. C. Tuna Lumi Radiance Brightening Gel Cleanser. I use this one every day. And it looks like this. And then to, up to two times a week, I use the Age Reversist Exfoliating Cleanser after I use that. So I've already done that part of it. The next step is I use the Lumi Radiance Brightening Toner. And I just use, I should have got this out beforehand. I just use one of these little um, cotton pads from Dollar Tree. If you don't want to exfoliate, then you can just tap it on. Um, but if you want to exfoliate, then you're going to want to just rub it. And, you know, just avoid your eye area. But if you don't want to exfoliate, you just tap, you can just pat like that wherever you want it to go. Um, and then I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. So once that dries, I am going to go in with my brightening serum and then my brightening cream. And this does have SPF, um, so that would be my next step. Okay, so I did all of that off camera. And then <clears throat> the next step is your primer. So this is a perfecting makeup primer. And then I have an illuminating Primer and the this is good for all skin types. I'm gonna go with this one today. And you would just put it everywhere you're gonna put makeup. And it helps to fill in your, any pores or spots that will help make your makeup look smoother. And I'm sorry for this brightness, y'all. Alright, and again, this was the Perfecting Primer. And I'll put everything I used today in a list. Um, and I'll link it below so that if you're interested in any of the products that I use, um, you can go check them out. Um, so once this dries, we are going to go with our foundation. So normally, um, if it's not nighttime and I'm not going out, out, I'll either use a BB cream or a CC cream. Or um, the, my stay mat. Um, I think so. The the BB cream is a beauty bomb. It's a light to medium coverage. Um, the CC cream is a color control, and it is also light to medium. I think I'm gonna go with the CC cream today. So you can either use, um, if you have a kabuki brush, 
Um, you can use that or you could just use your hands. I am actually going to use the Kabuki brush today. And I'll just put a little bit all over. And then I'll blend it. And so then I'm going to take my Kabuki brush and just, oh, I forgot one step. Hold on. I also use the, um, the eye primer. It's Pro to Fit Eyeshadow Primer, uh, and it just looks like that. So I do typically use this as well. Let me get a few set my nails are long. And just put that on my eyes and I'll rub that in. And that just helps your um, eyeshadow to pop more. And it gives it like a base. It's kind of like um, for paper crafters out there, it's kind of like putting gesso on your eyes <laughs> before you start. <laughs> with your medium. So we're just going to rub that in and then we will go back to doing, I might need to put a little bit more on there after I do the, okay, so let's finish this part. And I learned something today y'all about, or yesterday actually, and I'm, I'm not sure if it's true or not. So I want to try it out. So I saw somewhere that when you're like when you know like when you're younger in your 20s or you know maybe even early 30s, um, you want to use a bright concealer to cover up your dark circles and stuff. Um, but when you get to be over 40, which I am, you want to use a darker concealer because the light concealer just kind of makes you look gray under here. So we're going to try it. I'm going to just pull my hair up out of the way while I do this. <coughs> so um, I do not have a dark concealer right now, but I do have a darker um, foundation. So I'm going to try that under my eyes. And I'm just going to put a little bit under there and see if it helps. Now I have um, I have hereditary bags and dark circles. And mine are extreme, like, um, there's not a whole lot that will cover it without a surgery. But, you know, if I can find anything that helps a little bit. But in addition to that, I also have allergies. Um, and... Unfortunately, that makes my eyes puffy in the morning. So, so I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because this is not a concealer. Um, so, I may have to actually get a concealer and try it. Let me try this one. This one's a little bit darker than what I normally use. We'll just see how this does. So I can't speak as to if that tip works or not, Al. But I will get back to y'all <laughs> on that when I actually buy a darker concealer. Let's see. We'll see if it works. 
Okay. So once I do that, I'm going to take some of my finishing powder and just put it under there to kind of set it. Just let that sit for a minute. Okay, y'all. The next step is a contour. So I have the Peach Bite palette, which looks like this. And that's a contour, highlight, and blush. And then I also have the 3-in-1 face palette. That looks like this so this is the contour highlight and blush so i think today i'm wearing something kind of pink so i'm gonna go with this palette and so how i do my contour so you want to do your contour right below your cheek line here and then i go here here i go with like the shape of my face up here I do a little bit on the side of my nose and a little bit right there. So it's kind of like in that hollow of your cheek. And depending on how dark or light you want it. And then you're just going to blend it in circular motions. Upward motion. I always do it too dark up there. <laughs> you can see it. And then after that, I will do my blush. And this is the Pharmacy Kabuki brush. So if you're interested, it's very soft. I love it a lot. I have a couple. Um, let's see. Let's just use this bit. So then I do my blush a little bit higher, like closer to my eye. really use contour that much I'm not even gonna lie y'all um so but if you were to use contour and I really don't use highlighter either just to be transparent <laughs> okay so once you're done with all that then you can either do your highlighter or you can move on to your eyes so for going out um just like like an everyday look, um, I would probably still go kind of neutral unless it was nighttime. However, I would um, I would probably do a little bit of glitter so this is the Glam Up palette from Pharmacy and I'm going to use this glittery ivory color and then I'm gonna probably use a matte brown and another option is this darker um, Nefer it's called Nefertiti um, and I just kind of do this all over my eye because I like to have a base not everyone does but I just think it looks more finished And so I just do that. And then 
I'm going to use my same brush and go in with a darker brown. So I'm going to use this one here, and then this one's going to be over to the outside. And then we just you just blend, blend, blend everything together. So this one is going to be my crease color. And as I've mentioned many times before, um, I have kind of a hooded eye where when I open my eye, you can't see all of my lid. So I do mine slightly above the crease so that you can see the color. Sorry, y'all, I kind of rock when I'm doing, I do that even when I'm not filming. And then you would take the darker color and kind of go in a V in the corner. And normally I would blend this first, like blend the, the crease first, but I'm just going to do this all together and then I'll go back and add more if necessary. So I'm going to blend this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did go a little too... Um, far down with the dark so the way to fix that is just to take a little bit of concealer under there and just blend that in because otherwise it'll pull your eyes down and so this just cleans it up you can see there it it lifts that eye up well hopefully you can see So it just kind of pulls it up more instead of bringing it down. <clears throat> okay, so once you're done with that, you can do either eyeliner or if you don't do eyeliner, you can do mascara. Um, I have started using um, brown eyeliner um, just because I'm older and sometimes I feel like the black eyeliner kind of draws attention in all the wrong places and I just go across my lash line here and then open my lash line so you don't see any of that skin popping through And then a very light, very close to the, up to there, which is very, very lightly. So that's how I do mine. I'm by no means an expert. I do want to try out, um, the Eye Method Beauty wing, eyeliner wing stamp kit. I recently reviewed the eyebrow stamp and I loved it. But I saw a video that somebody did on the on the eyeliner and it looked really good. Because that is not one of my strong suits. I cannot do wings to save my life. It'll either be one looks really good and one looks crappy or they both look like crap. <laughs> okay, so I did that. Put those over there. I'm done with that. I'm done with Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick. I'm going to go off camera for that because y'all just saw me do that um, on another video. Okay, y'all, so there's that. And then now I'm going to go in and do my mascara. 
and then my lipstick, and then I'll do my hair. I'm gonna do my hair off camera, <laughs> just so y'all don't have to sit through a super, super long video. But I'm using the a double lash extend, so the length um, is in the top, and for volume, it's in this one. So I typically start out with the length. Got a little mirror. It's hard for me to do this. And then I'll let that dry for a minute and then we'll do the volume and while <clears throat> excuse me while that's drying for a minute I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips so this is a um, lip gloss we don't actually have this color anymore but we have some very close to it so I will link those in that description list below in the link. So there's that. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and do my volume and then, <clears throat> then I'm gonna go do my hair and then I will be back with my finished look. Okay, y'all, this is the finished look. So I left my hair just down. I'm wearing a cute little skirt and got my makeup done. And one step I did forget to mention is I did use the finishing spray. I will link that down below as well. I hope you enjoyed this collab and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all, I just want to add um, an ending to this because um, I realized I kind of ended that quick, which is not like me. Um, but I was heading out the door to do something and my mind was somewhere else. So please go and subscribe to NC Mountain Mama if you're not already subscribed to her, you guys. She is trying to reach her goal of a thousand subscribers um, and she's just a wonderful, sweet person. This was just something fun that the two of us wanted to get together and do because um, I don't get dressed up a whole lot, y'all, and not even for work. I wear very minimal makeup and honestly... The last couple of weeks, I haven't really worn any, to be honest. Um, and I haven't had time to go anywhere. So, it's fun to kind of get dressed up and go do some things. Um, or look like you're going to do some things. <laughs> even if you're not. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more stuff like this, um, let me know in the comments below. And remember, in a world where you can be anything, be kind, y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.